Hi students, my name is Miss Myers and I teach world history. And this year I'm gonna be doing a series of videos where I will teach the content standards for the course of world history. And this first video is all to give you guys some background information on something that I like to call grapes. And grapes include geography, religion, achievements, politics, economy, and social class. Now, why are grapes important for world history? Well, in the world history course, you're gonna learn about ancient civilizations and how they paved the way for the world as we know it today. And in order to be a civilization, all of the grapes are the key concepts that I just listed have to all be a part of that civilization. There are components that make up the civilization. So those things are going to be really important this year as we go through and we learn about each ancient civilization. The first grape is geography. Geography is the physical environment and how it influences an economy and culture. Now when I say physical environment that means things you can see and touch. For example, you see the trees in the background here. That's because I'm outside right now. But those are trees are part of the geography of where we live, okay? Some other examples include rivers, oceans, deserts, mountains, forests, and the physical location of a place. Another major landform that is part of the geography where we are on the coast would be the Gulf of Mexico. That is what usually comes to people's minds whenever they think of our area, they think of the water. In each civilization that we learn about, we will talk about their specific geography and what makes those places different and unique. Our next key concept in grapes is religion. Now, religion is just a belief system that influences a civilization. We will study five major religions throughout the course, and those are the five major religions of the world, even in current times, but they all originated in ancient times. They are Judaism, Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, and Hinduism. Achievements. These are the lasting contributions of the civilization. So these are the things that we remember the most. Some examples of achievements include art, science, architecture, which is buildings or structures, the building of structures, inventions, and even ideas are considered achievements. And we will learn about lots of different cool achievements that every ancient civilization has contributed to our world. Next we have politics. This is government and leadership and how a civilization has an organized way of leadership. Every civilization creates their own type of government or a way to keep their systems organized and efficient to lead the people of that particular nation or civilization. Some words that you may hear when we talk about government and politics, our leadership would be king, ruler, leader, laws, policy, democracy, and more. Next we have economy. This is all about money. This is how a civilization makes money through the buying and selling of goods. Some examples include resources, trade routes, agriculture, and products. Agriculture is farming and crops. We'll discuss a lot about farming and agriculture in each civilization as this was a major part of ancient world times. Also, we will talk about trade a lot. Trade is how civilizations made money or got extra resources that maybe they couldn't, that they couldn't get in their own area, but this was a way to gain resources and products 
and share them from civilization to civilization. And the last key concept that we will talk about is social class. How civilization is divided into classes that have different roles, responsibilities, and privileges. And we will typically use a pyramid like you see here to help you visualize social class and make it make a little more sense in your mind. But some examples that we have and some things that we will talk about may include rulers, soldiers, slaves, warriors, farmers, merchants, nobles, priests, and many more. Each civilization that we learn about will have its own unique social class or social structure and different jobs and roles will be in those social structures. That concludes our grapes information. So I hope you guys are ready to learn some really cool information and in history. I know I'm excited to teach you guys all about old ancient civilizations. So join me in my next video where we will journey to the civilization of ancient India. See you soon. So I hope you guys are ready to learn some really cool information and in history. I know I'm excited to teach you guys all about old ancient civilizations. So join me in my next video where we will journey to the civilization of ancient India. See you soon.